One holy night, love came down, so innocent, so pure, born with a call like no other to save the world. On Christmas Eve, many years ago, I lay quietly in my bed. I did not rustle the sheets. I breathed slowly and silently. I was listening for a sound, a sound a friend had told me I'd never hear, the ringing of bells of Santa's sleigh. There is no Santa, my friend had insisted, but I knew he was wrong. All I want for Christmas is for lost dreams to be found. Late that night, I did hear sounds, though not of uh, ringing bells. From outside came the sounds of hissing steam <clears throat> and squeaking metal. I looked through my window and saw a train standing perfectly still in front of my house. It was wrapped in an apron of steam. Snowflakes fell lightly around it. A conductor stood at the open door of one of the cars. He took a large pocket watch from his vest, then looked up at my window. I put on my slippers and robe. I tiptoed down, tipped on downstairs and out the door. All aboard, the conductor cried out. I ran up to him. Well, he said, are you coming? Where, I asked. Why, to the North Pole, of course, was his answer. This is the Polar Express. I took his outstretched hand and he pulled me aboard. The train was filled with other children, all in their pajamas and nightgowns. We sang Christmas carols and ate candies with nougat centers as white as snow. We drank hot cocos as thick and rich as melted chocolate bars. Outside, the lights of towns and villages flickered in the distance as the Polar Express raced northward. 
Soon there were no more lights to be seen. We traveled through cold, dark forests where lean wolves roamed and white-tailed rabbits hid from our train as it thundered through the quiet wilderness. We climbed mountains so high it seemed as if we would scrape the moon, but the Polar Express never slowed down. Faster and faster we ran along, rolling over peaks and through valleys like a car on a roller coaster. The mountains turned into hills, the hills into covered plains. We crossed a barren desert of ice, the great polar ice cap. Lights appeared in the distance. They looked like the lights of a strange ocean liner sailing on a frozen sea. There, said the conductor, is the North Pole. The North Pole. It was a huge city standing alone at the top of the world, filled with factories where every Christmas toy was made. At first we saw no elves. They gather at the center of the city, the conductor told us. That is where Santa will give the first gift of Christmas. Who receives the first gift, we all asked. The conductor answered, he will choose one of you. The first gift. I found myself thinking of that first gift long ago, when Mary held her newborn son, knowing that he would touch the hearts of many as he touched hers. Look, shouted one of the children, the elves. Outside, we saw hundreds of elves. As our train drew closer to the center of the North Pole, we slowed to a crawl, so crowded were the streets with Santa's helpers. When the Polar Express could go no farther, we stopped and the conductor let us out. We pressed through the crowd to the edge of a large open circle in front, in front of us stood Santa's sleigh. The reindeer were excited. They pranced and paced, ringing the silver bell, sleigh bells that hung from their harnesses. It was a magical sound, like nothing I'd ever heard. Across the circle, the elves moved apart and Santa Claus appeared. The elves cheered wildly. We marched over to us and pointing to me said, Let's have this fellow here. He jumped into his sleigh. The conductor handed me up. Santa asked, Now what would you like for Christmas? I knew that I could get, have any gift I could imagine, but the thing I wanted most for Christmas was not inside Santa's giant bag. What I wanted more than anything was one silver bell from Santa's sleigh. When I asked, Santa smiled. What I wanted more, <clears throat> uh, then he gave me a hug and told an, an elf to cut a bell from the reindeer's harness. The elf gave it to Santa. He stood holding the bell high above him and called out the first gift of Christmas. A clock struck midnight as the elves roared their approval. Santa handed the bell to me and I put it in my bathrobe pocket. The conductor helped me down from Santa's sleigh. Santa shouted out the reindeer's names and cracked his whip. His team charged forward and climbed into the air. Santa circled one, once above us then disappeared in the cold dark polar sky. As soon as we were back inside the polar express, the other children asked to see the bell. I reached into my pocket, but the only thing I felt was a hole. I had lost the silver bell from Santa Claus's sleigh. Let's hurry outside and look for it, one of the children said. But the train gave a sudden lurch and started moving. We were on our way home. It broke my heart to lose the bell. When the train reached my house, I sadly left the other children. I stood at my doorway and waved goodbye. The conductor said something from the moving train, but I couldn't hear him. What? I yelled out. He cupped his hands around his mouth. Merry Christmas, he shouted. The Polar Express let out a loud blast from its whistle and sped away. As I went inside my house, I thought about what Christmas is. See 
the candlelight Jingle bells and silent night Friends from long ago And friends we've made a know Christmas is a sacred birth A chance for open peace on earth It's everything that we hold dear and true Cause most of all Christmas is the love that lives inside of me and you. On Christmas morning, my little sister Sarah and I opened our presents. <coughs> when it looked as if everything had been unwrapped, Sarah found one last small box behind the tree. It had my name on it. Inside was the silver bell. There was a note. Found this on my seat of my sleigh. Fix that hole in your pocket. Signed, Mr. C. I shook the bell. It made the most beautiful sound my sister and I had ever heard. But my mother said, oh, that's too bad. Yes, said my father, it's broken. When I'd shaken the bell, my parents had not heard a sound. At one time, most of my friends could hear the bell, but as years passed, it fell silent for all of them. Even Sarah found one Christmas <clears throat> that she could no longer hear its, its sweet sound. Though I've grown old, the bell still rings for me as it does for all who truly believe. As we celebrate Christ's birthday, delight in his love, gentleness, patience, and kindness, believe in the magic of Christmas. Merry Christmas.
आहिनि